friends, we're back for Tip Tuesday. So today we're gonna talk about spelling words and learning our spelling words. So for me, I am dyslexic, very, very badly dyslexic. Um, spelling was never, reading and spelling were never something that came natural to me, and they still don't. I still have so much trouble figuring out how to spell things and read things. Um, and so, my kids have done really, really well. I was a little bit worried about them getting being dyslexic. Nobody's been diagnosed with dyslexia yet. But um, so my first graders and my second graders are the only one in, in school right now who are reading. And um, sometimes we have trouble figuring words out, like remembering that SH together is not sh, it's sh. Um, so I actually just Googled, like looked up. Um, spelling words, learning to spell with dyslexia. And it brought me to a vlog who she taught this idea, which I think is working great. Um, I've started in implementing it with my, our kids, so we're gonna see how it works. But today we're gonna teach it to you. So the way it works is my kids get spelling words every week. Is it weekly? We have a spelling test weekly with different spelling words. Some are memory words that you cannot sound out and you just have to know how to spell, and others ones you can sound out. But I put them all on cards, and each week I kinda change colors. Um, but, so, like this. So me, we've got, but then if the letters go together, like for sing, I-N-G goes together and says ing, I color coded it to try to help them remember that when they see the different color, that means those words go together. Like for this one, cattle, the L-E says ol. So I color coded that one too to try to help them remember that that's, those letters are gonna be together. Go ahead, what? And the pink is our other memory words. Pink is the other memory words, right. So we're gonna show you what the kids are doing. Go sit down next to your card. I've got my two first graders here and they're each gonna do one for you. Kelly, you'll go first uh, because we raise a gentleman in the house, right? Poor Max, he never gets to go first for anything. Okay, so Millie's got her card, put it on the table. Ah, wait, I don't want you to see it. Okay, so show them what you do. First, do you trace it with your finger and say the letter. D O D. D O D. Now you do it on the table. D O D. D O D. D O D. D O D. Good. Max, what, what word do you have? I hope you can know this is long. Long. Okay, put it on the table. Do it correctly. L O N G. Long. 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 L O N G. Very good. Okay, so I, um, like I said, color coded the words, but I'm also, I have colored um, index cards because for me, I don't know if my kids will be this way, but for me, I remembered colors. Like when I was in nursing school and there was a question on the page and I was like, oh, what is the answer? It was in like a yellow box at the bottom of the page. What was in that yellow box at the bottom of the page? So I'm trying to like hit, I don't know quite yet whose learning style is what exactly. So I'm trying to hit all of them. So it's the physical of touching it and, and doing it with your finger, saying it out loud, visual. Gunner, get down. We got a new puppy. We got a puppy and he jumps on everything. Um, and then the, the color coding, so maybe the different colors will help. So that's what we've been doing. We'll see if it works. We'll see if maybe their spelling tests get um, a little bit better. And it's just time consuming because I personally am not spelling or reading minded. It doesn't come easy for me. And so uh, it's hard for me to teach too. A lot of times I'm like, um, let me look that word up and make sure it's spelled correctly. Because I just don't have confidence in myself. So. Anyway, um, I hope this tip is helpful. I'm going to change things up here and see if we're going to try Tip Tuesday, Word Wednesday, Fun Friday. Just change it up and do some extra things. Um, it's not all going to be about school. Um, we're going to share things about Sorry. school, about housekeeping, about motherhood, about the scripture, what I'm learning in scripture. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But um, anyway, hopefully it was helpful, and we'll see you next time. Happy Halloween! <laughs>
happy Halloween. Say don't, bye. Don't hang up. Happy Halloween. Oh, and if I find that vlog, I cannot remember what that vlog was that um, taught me, but if I find it, I'll Google it again. If I can find it, I'll link it down below so you can see her original idea with her child. So thanks so much. We'll see you later.